Hey everyone, in this video I'll be unboxing the brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So I pre-ordered this on the 15th of January, so when they announced it. And a week later I got this in the mail. So it's actually a week early before the official S21 Ultra launches to uh, the public, but apparently they sent to me a week earlier. So yeah, I just got this in the mail. So I got the 512 gigabyte, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. So I paid 2,149 Australian dollars, and because I pre-ordered this, I also got the Galaxy Buds Pro for free included. So let's go ahead and unbox in this video. Alright, so inside the box I've got the S21 Ultra and also the Galaxy Buds Pro uh, that came with the phone as a bonus free gift. So if you want to see an unboxing of that, I will leave a link for this unboxing in the description. Alright, so before we unbox it, let's just take a look around. So we've got S21 Ultra 5G, Galaxy, nothing on the top, Samsung. And on the back, it just tells you what's included inside the box. So the travel adapter is sold separately. So hence why the box is really thin. So we've got two stickers here that we need to break. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is the S21 Ultra, let's go ahead and lift it up, as you can see, we'll just set that to a side, see what else we get inside the box. So we just got a piece of cardboard and Samsung Care Plus, there's that. So inside this box. We have only two things, or three. So we got quick start guide, warranty card, and this is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. So unfortunately it does not come with the travel adapter. So it's either you have to use your own one, or otherwise you can go on the website and um, and purchase the uh, adapter. So they have reduced the price, but yeah. So it's either you get your own one, something like this. This one is the official 25 watt charger, or you'll have to use a different one. So back to the phone, here it is. So let's just peel off the back piece. I'm just going to leave the uh, screen protector on the front. First impressions, um, it is it's actually not that thick until you reach the side, which is the camera component, that the thick thickest part. But it has a nice matte finish to it, um, so no more of that glossy finish that you get with the previous Samsung phones, and yeah, so let's just take a look around. So, um, on the front we have a 40 megapixel selfie camera, as you can see there. And on the side we've got uh, nothing. And on the bottom we have a SIM card slot. We have a microphone, a USB Type-C port. Um, speakers. On the other side we have the sleep wake button along with the 
volume up and down and on the top we have our microphone and on the back we have our cameras so we have the uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera here we have the 108 megapixel um, wide camera down here we got the 10 megapixel uh, 10 times optical zoom camera up here we got the laser autofocus sensor and right below that we got the flash and our 10 megapixel secondary telephoto camera which goes up to 3 times optical zoom here's the bottom we got Samsung branding And there you go. It's a nice matte finish, which wraps around the camera as well. So the camera has a matte, has a matte coating to it, and it feels very premium. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, I'm used to really big phones, so uh, yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and power this on. Also, forgot to mention we also have a SIM ejection tool in the box. Alright, so welcome, so English, uh, let's agree to all this, I'm just going to put it in my Wi-Fi, okay, so it looks like it'll have to restart, so um, let's just wait for a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, it's just asking us to copy apps and data, uh, we'll just say don't copy, we're just going to skip this for now, skip. Okay, we'll just leave all this on, so accept all. So we're just going to skip this. Skip. And we're all set. Alright, there we go. So one of the new upgrades that the S21 Ultra got over the S20 Ultra is the fact that it now supports 120Hz at Quad HD plus display. So if we go into the settings and we scroll down to display and as you can see right now we go into the motion smoothness it is um, by default on adaptive uh, so this is the uh, 120 hertz uh, so this is enabling the 120 hertz uh, feature this is also standard which is the 60 hertz um, feature but obviously we want 120 hertz because that's the best and if we go all the way down to screen resolution uh, it is set at default um, at 1080p so we can change that to quad hd plus display apply and as you can see right now it is running at full quad hd plus display uh, with the adaptive setting enabled so full 120 hertz at um, quad HD plus display. So the next feature I want to talk about is the fingerprint scanner. So uh, previously with the S10 Plus and the S20 Ultra we had the first generation ultrasonic 3D uh, fingerprint scanner but now with the S21 Ultra it's gotten an upgrade so it's using the second generation uh, fingerprint scanner from Qualcomm. So they claim it's 77% larger fingerprint reader area and also 50% faster. So if we go into the biometrics and security, uh, as you can see, this is where you can add your fingerprints. So they claim that it is a bit, it is a bit faster. I played around with it, and it kind of feels a bit, it feels a bit faster, but it doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel like super duper fast, in my opinion. Um, it kind of feels the same, uh, maybe less, uh, maybe less. Um, errors when I authenticate my fingerprint but otherwise it kind of just feels um, a lot similar to the first generation. Also another feature with the S21 Ultra is it now supports the S10 feature so borrowing most of the features from the Note series it's now um, supported with the S21 Ultra so just keep in mind it only supports the S21 Ultra does not support the um, S21 or S21 Plus only the S21 Ultra. So here I've got my uh, Note 9 pen and we'll just see if it works and as you can see it works just as normal just like a stylus uh, if we go into your notes page we'll, we can add a new note and we can start writing just like a 
uh, you know, just like using a note. So I'll just write hello. It's very responsive. Um, it's very responsive. Acts just like notes, and you got your notes uh, features here. So all the notes features here. The only disadvantage is you don't get the Bluetooth functionality. So um, you can't can't be used for like camera shutter. You can't use it for like presentation as a remote or even using it for music controls. But you know you got the basic S Pen features, and um, obviously it doesn't have the S Pen slot. But you know any slides will work. You know the note stylus or any third-party sliders will work with the S21 Ultra. And also one of the other upgrades that the S21 Ultra has is it now uses the Snapdragon 888 if you live in the US or if you live internationally, you will get the Exynos 2100. So here in Australia, uh, we all get uh, the Australian version gets the Exynos 2100, which is the international version. So I quickly ran a Geekbench score earlier and this is the result I got with the Exynos version. So the single core score got 1000 and multi core score I got around 3000, which is really, really good. And also with the processor, it's supposed to be a lot more efficient in terms of battery. Um, obviously, we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, unfortunately, with the last uh, S20 series and the Exynos 9 980, it had a lot of issues with battery efficiency and um, it was just an inferior. Uh, processor compared to the Snapdragon, Snapdragon 865 so hopefully this time around um, Samsung is back with their game and being able to um, deliver their promise with their Exynos 2100. Also not really a huge feature it was just introduced uh, last year with the S20 series but uh, with the S21 it now supports 5G and um, we've got 5G, 5G is a lot more common here in my area and I quickly just ran a quick 5G speed test and as you can see it is a lot faster compared to 4G usually with 4G I would get around 100 megabits per second but with 5G as you can see it's nearly um, quadrupled the score so 400, nearly 400 megabits download speed and around 20 megabits upload speed so it's really really fast and next I just want to talk about the software so as you can see uh, if we go into the settings page, so with all the S21 series, it ships with Android uh, version 11 or One UI 3.1. So, some of the new features exclusive for 3.1 is first of all, if we go, if we swipe all the way to the left, we instead of having Samsung Daily, it is now defaulted with um, Google Discover, but you can change. All you have to do is just pinch the uh, home screen, scroll all the way to the right, and you have two options. So we've got Google Discover or Apparently it's called Samsung Free, so uh, you get to choose uh, what you want on your left on the left side of your home screen, which is awesome. Um, also, another thing is it now supports wireless decks, so you can link the. So if you have the um, Windows app on your phone, you can connect this to your. Uh, you can connect this to your PC, so it's almost like having a phone on your computer. So you can. Um, send messages and view your uh, pretty much view um, the storage of your phone like your gallery and take phone calls etc okay so let's now talk about one of the biggest features with the s21 ultra which are the cameras so uh, here in the camera app as you can see um, the interface is a lot uh, similar to the s20 ultra but there are some uh, differences so as you can see i'm in the photos app at, at the moment and as you can see there are at the bottom we have three different modes or four different modes so we got the ultra wide which is 0.6 times we have the standard which is the wide angle mode which is one times and we've got three times which is your um, 3x optical zoom and then your 10 times which is your 10x optical zoom and you can go even further so you got your 30x and your 100x and so obviously um, I'll just show you sample photos, but this is the ultra wide in or the 0.6 times x, and then this is your one times or your regular standard wide angle shot. This is your three times or your three x um, shot, and this is four x, then ten x, then thirty x. And then 100x. And now, with uh, as you um, go 
beyond 30x so if you uh, start to zoom between uh, if you start to zoom at 30x and beyond uh, you'll have you see this little um, feature on the top left hand corner which is uh, marked yellow and this is called the intelligent zoom log as Samsung call it so uh, you can zoom up to a photo or if as you're zooming up to a subject or an image um, the phone or uses its software to stabilize the image so uh, you can get clearer shots. Also another uh, new feature in the S21 Ultra is the macro mode. So what it does is if you're close to a subject around 40 centimeters it will automatically switch to the macro mode and this is used to uh, shoot really really close up images so it doesn't have any like those 2 megapixel or those 5 megapixel macro cameras um, it actually uses the ultra wide camera so you actually get really really sharp details and you can see the sample shots that I've taken very very detailed very sharp and just overall it's just better to look at and um, a much cleaner shot compared to the crappy 2 megapixel and 5 megapixel cameras you see on uh, and other Android devices. So also another feature with the S21 Ultra is that you now can record 4K 60 frames per second from all cameras. So you, the Ultra, uh, the Wide, the Telephoto, even the uh, three times optic, uh, three times Telephoto, all can record in 4K. Even the front-facing camera as well can shoot in 4K 60 frames per second. So giving that consistent. Uh, video mode across all cameras. So we also have a brand new feature called director's uh, view So what it does is, is you can record your front and the rear cameras simultaneously and uh, You can view all three cameras at the same time and switch between them depending on the situation. So um, You can record the front facing camera as along with the uh, rear facing camera and switch between the three lenses So it's almost a feature that Samsung kind of revived uh, they used to have it with their really old Samsung phones, um, but uh, weirdly they kind of took taken away. But now they've almost reintrodu reintroduced it instead of a. Besides calling it a new feature, it's technically reviving an old feature that they've used. In the and also with Super Steady, uh, they now can record in uh, up to 60 frames per second from 30 frames per second, but it's still capped at 1080p, so you can't do it at 4K. Only 10k, only at 1080p, but now is uh, now can be recorded in at 60 frames per second. And also improved night mode, so you can see some sample photos right here. We've got some improved night mode. Uh, so apparently, according to Samsung, there's more light uh, and better noise reduction. So overall, I'm really impressed with the camera on the S21 Ultra. And another little thing that I've noticed with using the uh, with using the cameras on this phone is. There's a little setting up here and if you click on that there's different settings so uh, whoops so there's different settings so you don't have to keep on going to the uh, actual settings just to change the um, the frame rate and the resolution you can just go up here and there's different um, resolutions and frame rates at a glance so it's just a lot easier a lot quicker and just a lot just a better experience overall. Okay, just to finish off the video, uh, I wanted to talk about some downgrades that you get with the S21 Ultra or just even with the S21 series. So first of all, uh, the probably the biggest one is the charger. So um, as you saw with the unboxing, uh, Samsung no longer includes the charger with all the S21 series lineup and the headphones as well. The headphones are gone from the uh, box. So all you get is just the USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. Uh, so if they do advertise that it can support 25 watt charging, but you do have to either buy it uh, from Samsung.com or buy from a, another third-party website, or uh, have or, or pretty much use your own chargers at home. So it's a bit of a shame because they did mock a, they did mock. Uh, Apple's strategy with removing all their own charges and they kind of did it with their own so it's a bit hypocritical but at the same time I mean it is what it is and I just think that you know I really do think I really do hope that companies do not remove these charges because they are really important and I don't know I just think it's just a bit stupid that they're removing um, 
charges from the boxes just to save the environment. Also another thing is they've also uh, no longer support micro SD cards. All the S21 series no longer have a micro SD card support. So um, unfortunately if you're really um, into micro SD and you're really keen on trying to store as much onto your micro SD, unfortunately there's no micro SD for this. So it's either you go with the uh, base storage or pay a bit higher for the uh, bigger storage or use cloud services and just to show you guys um, I'll just show you that uh, the phone does not have a micro SD card slot, slot as you can see right there only has the SIM card slot yeah no micro SD card support unfortunately and also just a little touch up on the wearables um, the S21 series no longer support the old Galaxy Wear wearables. I don't know if anyone still really, I don't know if anyone still has that, but just a heads up, it won't support the Gear 2, the Gear 2 Neo, the Gear S, and the Gear Fit. So if you have those Gear devices and you're planning on buying the S21, just a heads up, they don't support. Uh, those devices do not support the S21. So anyway, guys, I hope you really guys enjoyed this unboxing and. Uh, first look at the new features of the S21. But yeah, thank you for watching.